Every field has individuals that inspire others to accomplish their best and do great things. I would like to show a short video about someone who has had a great influence on my career and many other people's careers, Dr. Bobby R. Alford. Dr. Alford probably singularly did more for the specialty of otolaryngology, head and neck surgery, than any other human, uh, period. Sort of the classic academician. He was an outstanding surgeon, educator, and also an administrator who built a world-class department in a growing medical center uh, in Houston, Texas. Uh, he's such an incredible man. I, I'm just blessed to have had an opportunity to be uh, under his guidance and leadership during residency. I came back from the war in Vietnam and immediately entered Dr. Alford's residency program. I always said that Dr. Alford's program was just slightly harder than being in Vietnam. He cut us no slack, and I've admired and thanked him for it the rest of my life. When I went into medical school, there weren't that many women, and he had a lot of vision in, in really seeing that women were going to have their place in medicine. And he not only encouraged me to go into academics, but he would tell me about the other women that were in the field. He is a researcher, uh, an excellent physician, a teacher, and uh, an outstanding administrator. Um, these are qualities that uh, are hard to find in any one individual. He has always been a role model to me for inspiring medical students to go into laryngology and neck surgery and to uh, induce residents to go into academic careers. Inspired three things. The pragmatic value and excitement of curiosity and discovery and uh, a reverence for precision of thought and a steadfast ethical commitment to patients. He was unrelenting in that, and I've tried to emulate that throughout my life. His ongoing commitment to move clinical practice forward by pushing the frontiers of science. He really was one of the first to strongly promote the concept of translational science. Dr. Offord, as a major mentor, of young trainees has impacted many, many people who've continued to go on and impacted especially with great discoveries. He was uh, quite involved at the, uh, the board level, the academy level, the um, specialty society level, and uh, it, it took his leadership and vision and patience and perseverance in many of those uh, organizations to help develop otolaryngology into what it is today. A leader's main goal is not just to lead, but to create leaders. And I believe that Dr. Alford has created many, many leaders um, in the field of otolaryngology and in, in the broader field of medicine. His educational uh, impact is a bit like ripples on a pond, is that uh, it started with a single man, and because of his uh, dedication and his uh, foresight and his work uh, has uh, produced uh, generations of otolaryngologists who in turn will train generations of otolaryngologists. I don't think there's any way that we can adequately repay somebody who's made as many sacrifices as uh, Dr. Bobby R. Alford has made for the betterment of, of patient care uh, and for this specialty uh, over the years. Dr. Alford, will you please join me on stage? On behalf of the Academy, otolaryngologists, and the many Baylor residents, students, and faculty members that you have inspired, I'm excited to announce the creation of the Bobby R. Alford Endowed Research Grant. 
This grant program is intended to help facilitate the career of young investigators, promote clinical, translational, or basic science investigation within otolaryngology. I am certain that your example and this award will continue to help influence young physicians, pursue excellence, innovation, and improve the quality of patient care. Dr. Alford, please accept this award, which commemorates the establishment of this new endowed research grant program in your honor as a small token of our appreciation. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, please. Well, thank you, uh, President Cooper Smith. I, I am very touched uh, by this uh, award and by those who have championed the presentation of it to me. I don't have any prepared remarks. Uh, I uh, have, a many, have many things that are going through my mind uh, in appreciation for all those people who have inspired me through the years. Um, basically, uh, you know, one's career is really about education, about research, and through those two avenues, doing the very best thing possible for your patients. And being a good citizen in medicine as well as in life. All of those things I've tried to aspire. Uh, let me say one thing in closing. I couldn't have done this without my wife. <laughs> okay, you please stand. Thank you. I'm not given to emotion, but this is a very emotional moment for me at this time. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Awesome.